What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of W Supercard here on the channel. Like we can see as always, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So pretty much this is a video of me reacting to JB's video that he made earlier today with the Giants Unleashed gameplay. Uh, if you guys do not watch JB, I, you guys all know JB, but you guys don't watch him. I'm here is your backup if you don't like him. Uh, he did introduce us gameplay to what uh, Giants Unleashed is going to be like. So yeah. Gear inventory, there's five different gears. We have up arrow, down arrow gear. We have left, right arrow gear. We have uh, a mismatch gear. We have a proc gear. And then we also have the four set of the same arrow type of gear. So uh, each gear costs different amounts of money. Uh, it can range from 80 credits to 400 credits, depending. And you get about 15 of each. You do, you do get a good amount. Honestly, after watching this, it doesn't seem like a pay-to-play type of mode, honestly. Uh, just looking at how everything is. So, it's like, okay, it's not bad. That ability bonus is fire, though. But what are the chances of you proccing? That's a great question, right? So, pretty much how your deck is made, you get four left arrows, four right arrows, two, uh, four up arrows, four down arrows. A basic 16 deck. No females are in this mode, I believe. Uh, and these are the rewards that you get if you defeat the giant. And remember, giants will come and go here and there at times. So pretty much uh, decent rewards, but it, I don't know 100% how good these rewards are. But overall, what you want to do is try to get the highest score possible so you can get towards your milestone rewards. Now, uh, I believe there will be different giants for deep, uh, different tiers. Because when JB was in this one, apparently his buddy was in the Goliath one. So I guess there'll be different giants for different uh, tiers, which is fine. You know, it helps lower tier players out. So yeah, sure, why not? Keep it that way, I guess. So we're gonna, we're about to get into the gameplay aspect of things to show you what the game mode is gonna be like. Now this is bouts, as I told you. Bouts are always gonna be a thing in Supercard. You can speed up bouts. It's only gonna cost you 100 credits for five full bouts. Not like OTL, that costs 500. Thank God it's only 100 credits for that. But uh, yeah, so pretty much this is how the display is going to be like. Uh, you can pick three gears only per round. Uh, I would say the best gears for you at this moment will be proc, uh, up arrow, down arrow, left and right arrows. Those will be the most easiest ones. Uh, mismatch will be kind of decent. And the, the moment that you need to match four arrows, honestly is the most expensive one I believe to buy like the purple one however the odds of you getting four cards with the same arrow is extremely tough I've, I, I didn't think JB hit it once this video and it costs the most credit so imagine spending everything and you didn't get anything out of it it's a gamble I think the better ones are those up and down left and right and uh, the proc those will be your best ones the arrows change every round guys so Miz is an up arrow in this round as you can clearly see uh, so he, obviously he would want to go with Brock Lesnar there as he's the only up arrow. He does get the bonus. If you went any other superstar there, you would get a minus bonus. I think it's like minus 75%. So, yeah. Uh, round two, he's now a left arrow. As you can clearly see, it changed to a left arrow. He only has one, but you get a 25% bonus. Boom. Hit him with your card, JB. It's about freaking time you hit him with your card. Hit him with your freaking card, now, what I don't get is he has Rick Root has a million power, 1.1, and he only does 12k damage. I don't get that whole perimeter of how damage is calculated by. Is it one, like, one of a hundredth of what your attack is? But he had uh, two down arrows down there. He used both and hit 24k damage. And as you can see, that's the, what you need to do is your milestone rewards, which is going to be the most important things. You get five draft picks. You can carry up to 50 gear, apparently. So, gear should fly off the board. I'm going to tell you now, gear might most likely just should fly off the board. So, yeah, uh, I actually do like that. It's good for grinders. And this, this mode shouldn't be hectic. It doesn't seem hectic. It's very chilled, relaxed. I can see some people getting a little frustrated with damage-wise, but... It should be chilled and relaxed. Uh, free, I don't know, but it does does not seem like a money killer to me. It just doesn't. Like, depends on the gears and stuff. It just doesn't seem like a money killer to me. Uh, as you can see, JB goes for the same one as I would go for, but then he changes it up here. I think he went with a mismatch. 
uh, I forgot what that other one is, but I think it's uh, Mismatch, t- Times 4, and Proc. I'm assuming those are the Proc. So, Right Arrow, uh, he, should go at, he should go at Ray, but I'm not sure. I think he, since he has the Mismatch, he'll use more cards since the bonus isn't as high. Uh, if you use a Mismatch, it'll be like 75%, I believe. However, when you use the other cards like that it's only minus 50 so honestly not bad but you do lose a lot of the arrows if it was a mismatch that's why you see people not benefiting so in this one if i was him i'd probably use probably go four again to be fair because there you go it's only minus 50 so not the worst you do a good amount of damage and he wants up arrows, I'm assuming, but oh, he wanted down arrows, but he didn't get any down arrows. So if I was him, use the four that you can. That's it. Uh, hit that card like that. Boom, boom, boom. And that's pretty much it. So 51k that one round. Uh, you could honestly get about 200, 500k per hour with this type of method. You, that didn't even require like enough, like crazy amount of gears. So I don't think it's going to be that bad of a mode. You could, I would say at least get 200k per hour. Five hours, it's a million. Now, JB does go showing things. I believe the event card is 9.8 mil. We're not 100% positive if that's going to be the final numbers because this apparently this is the beta. So they're not 100% sure if it's going to be. I'll probably be on your screen in a second. I don't want to zoom in and crap. But... Uh, it's 9.8 million for the event card. And then probably the heroic will be after that. Don't even get me started on what heroic could possibly be. But uh, there you go. You see what decks are. Left, right, four of each. Uh, maybe he'll show the rewards in a second. So it'll be kind of useful. But uh, yeah, 9.8 million for Undertaker. I think it was 3.4 for the Cataclysm. And then it gets dramatically lower. There you go. 9.8, 3.9 for the the cat card so it doesn't seem hard at all you know if you get 200k per hour times five it's a million points in five hours uh honestly that's not bad at all it's just worrisome for like heroic side i can see this being worrisome for heroic but other than that it doesn't seem like a pain in the ass type of mode so yeah guys uh, i'm looking forward to this mode very much uh, i hope you guys are as well uh, I will hopefully be streaming this mode tomorrow, and if you guys can come check me out, that'd be great. Uh, this mode is pu- making me pumped. I, it looks very fun for me, and if you get your friends and all to join in with you guys, and let's have a party. So yeah, uh, all right, guys. So to end off today's video, I'm gonna show you what I got for my fusion, and that's pretty much it. So let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have another fusion. I'm gonna speed this up because maintenance is within nine more minutes. So I'm gonna speed this one up so I can do this while maintenance is going. Uh, <laughs> Yay! I'm not gonna look again. Hopefully we get a fourth Carmella. That would be nice. And any other card that I have already. All right, I'm not gonna look at all. There's the WrestleMania 35 card. There's the Cataclysm Enhancement. And that's any hit and done. Right there. Did I get it? Oh, hopefully I did. Whee! Another fusion. Lego. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you saw there, I got Adam Cole. I can show you on screen because, unfortunately, there is a maintenance happening right now. But, uh, anyways, it was a pro, baby. So, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We will, we will have some Giants Unleashed gameplay tomorrow. For you guys, come check me out as always. Uh, you know, hit the notification bell to let you know when I do go live tomorrow. And I appreciate all the love and support, you guys. You guys have been amazing. A big thank you again to JB. His link will be in the description. You guys go check him out if you haven't already. But most people should know JB already because he literally has 130 something thousand more subs than me, anyways. So yeah, I appreciate all the love. Thanks again, JB. And we will see you guys uh, in the next one. Take care. Have a good one. <sighs> did we hit the 10 minute mark we did all right that's good to know all right roll credits